Some neighbors are saying they can finally breathe a sigh of relief after several drug homes were shut down. Thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. Not one, but three properties in Columbus were shut down by the city last week. The homes spanned across the city. Now, in Crime Tracker 10 tonight, Richard Solomon looks at why neighbors say the boarded homes are a sign of hope. The city attorney says since 2020, there have been 20 calls for service to this house on the city's south side for drugs and overdoses. One man I spoke with who lives in this neighborhood says now that this drug house is gone, his neighborhood can have a fresh start. A topic not too many wanted to talk about. Henry Johnson approached us with eager to share his excitement. Oh, Lord, yeah. I'm glad the community's getting a little bit better, yes. Better because of the boards on this home on East Hinman Avenue. The latest drug house Columbus police shut down. To know it ain't there no more is actually a great relief, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It really is. This property was one of three homes that were shut down this last week and six in the last two weeks. Another home shut down this week on East 6th Avenue was close to a church and even an elementary school. Court documents show police received 56 calls related to drug activity and domestic violence there since last February. Police say this home in East Linden that was shut down was connected to a large scale drug trafficking operation. Officers also removed stolen weapons. In Johnson's neighborhood, he doesn't want to see another home used for illegal activity again. It's a start to it, yes, because uh, the neighborhood now is a lot better than what it used to be. I mean, less traffic, less problems. Yeah. And Johnson says the boarded up house will be a hard reminder to see, but it lets him know that only good will be moving in from now on. For now, reporting in Columbus, I'm 10 TV's Richard Solomon. Back to you. And if something is happening in your neighborhood that you want us to look into, let us know about it. Send us an email to crimetracker10 at 10tv.com.